Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. In this video, we're looking at mapping your beard is stupid easy. Yes, it is. So, Paul Speller reminded me in the last video where we were talking about angles and pressure that mapping your beard is key. So I have a link to his channel down in the description. He shaves with straight razor quite a bit. So you could always check him out and we're going to get into this right now. All right. So first off, I'd let my beard grow for a few extra days just to make it easier to see. All right. And you, I would recommend this if you can. If you can't, that's okay too. The same principle, either way, will work just fine. All right. So what I've done, let it grow. And if you see here, I can rub down like this and it's really easy. Now, if I rub up, that's really hard. If I rub sideways, it's in between. So easy for me going down here is with the grain. And if I go opposite of that, that is going to be against the grain. We go sideways to that. That is going to be across the grain. It's just that simple. It really is. This is crazy easy to do. And it is key to getting a great straight razor shave. So now let's just look at my entire face real quick and then we'll get into the shave and I will show you more there as well. So right there, that is straight down with the grain. Okay. And here, now what goes on here is this kind of comes down like that and then meets that jawline and starts kind of kicking back right in there. And all of that would be with the grain for me. So if we go opposite of that, that is going to be against the grain. Super simple, right? And same thing here. Okay. Now, right back here, this is starting to kick to the back. So that would be with the grain. And coming this way would be against the grain. Now, that way that neck works right in there is you just go like that and it's almost like this. It's almost kind of a arc. So it comes down and then goes out and that's the way that part of my neck works. So if I, and I'll show you this in the shave, how I shave that area and get a really good job on it. All right. Now, right through here on that mustache, if I just let you look at it right there and you'll see it kind of comes down, it kind of goes out, all of that. But if I hold my face like that, okay, all of that is pointed basically straight down and it's easy. So that means that's with the grain. Right there, same thing. That pretty much goes straight down with the grain. That chin right here, straight down with the grain. The neck right in there, that is pretty much straight down. It comes out a little bit on the sides, but right there, it's pretty much with the grain, straight down. So that means if I went against the grain, that would be straight up. All right. Now, this side of my face is a little different and I bet yours is going to be a little different on each side as well. Okay. So here, this already goes down and kind of kicks back right there as well. And that's going to be with the grain. So yeah, I go opposite of that. And sure enough, it's harder. 
and that would be across the grain. Now, even though here and here, it doesn't look like I got much going on there, there's some stuff going on there. And mainly, if I go down like this, okay, that is really easy. So if I go up, sure enough, that's hard. So that would be against the grain going up and with the grain going down. And each side of my chin here more or less looks like it goes down, but that jawline, what happens is and this side is different than the other side on that jawline too, okay? This pretty much goes like this, and that is with the grain for me. Yep. So that's how this thing works. It is crazy easy, and you can do it. And keep in mind, we do multi-pass shaves, so you're going to want to know what is with the grain, what is against the grain, and what is across the grain as well. All right? So stay tuned. We're going to go through a shave, and let's just walk this out. All right? Now, here we go. First thing, though. We're going to be using my Thierry Zar frame back. Oh, yeah. This is a beautiful vintage razor. It has got a smiling blade. That is a 7 8 inch blade. And check that out. See this frame? And this is the blade that is in that frame. Works really well and is quite nice. This is very hard steel and it does a fine job and I picked it especially for this extra growth because it's going to really do a good job on that. Yep. Now here we go for soap. We're going Parasso Red. Oh yeah. This is going to be a Sunday sandalwood shave of the day. It is good. Yes it is. And this is a more maybe dark sandalwood and I like it, so that's good. Yep. Now, I have had that puck blooming here in this little bowl. We're going to pour off that bloom water, and we're putting that on as a pre-shave. Now, keep in mind, I did take a shower right before this, and I prepped those whiskers by lathering them up with bath soap and letting it stay for a while. You got to prep those whiskers. And this is, again, a way to prep and pre-shave kind of a deal. And it works really well. It does. Because what's really going on with soap is there is alkaline in the soap. And that actually takes the oil out of your hair in your whiskers and gives you a better shave because it'll stiffen them up and you'll be able to cut them even easier. Now, here we go. For my brush tonight. Yeah, brought out the Omega 10,098. This is a premium bore brush and it works really well. And it's been a while since I used it. So I've used it here lately because I just enjoy it. And now what we're going to want to do is get out about that much water. We're leaving water in that. That is what we're going to do because we don't want it dry. We want to be able to load that brush up. Yeah. So we're going to just load it up and Start making a lather. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully you had a wonderful week and are enjoying your weekend. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, being able to relax and be with family and friends. Yeah, that is always good. Yes, it is. And hopefully you're getting some downtime. Yeah, yeah. I am on call this weekend, but it's all right. Our daughter is here and... We are having a great time anyway. Yep. So that's good. Now, 
There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, so hopefully you're in high spirits, the world's treating you good, and you're getting some good shaves. Yeah. Remember, this is a journey. So I want you to go ahead and embrace that journey and you will have so much more fun than you ever thought you could have while you were shaving that uh, you're going to be amazed. You really will. Yep. Now I'm just pulling that soap off of that puck there, kind of cleaning out that bowl, cleaning out the outside, all of that. There we go. And we're just, we're going to put that on again as a pre-shave. And in all reality, very soon, we're going to have a lather with this same soap. So this is a great way to pre-shave. And you don't really need to do much more than this. And you'd be fine. Absolutely fine. Now, get those hands cleaned off. All right. Now we're going to build a lather in my Crown King Travel Scuttle. Oh yeah, this is a good unbreakable bowl and that does have hot water in it because the high today was 27 degrees, something like that. And uh, we're just going to make a lather and get this going. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'm thinking about doing for the near future at least is let's go ahead and hit the key items for straight razor shaving if you're new yeah and if you're not new we're still gonna shave we're still gonna talk we're gonna have a good time and you can let us know down in the comments actually how or what you think the next step should be, okay? Because really, this whole thing with straight razor shaving, it's a ritual. That is what really makes for a good shave, for me anyway, okay? I like the ritual idea of shaving. So you got strops, you're gonna strop that razor, you got straight razor, it's gonna to need to have, uh, you know, a decent shave ready edge on it, yeah? So those are the things we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about strokes and how the strokes go and why. Why would you do it that way, yeah? So those are just some ideas that I've been kicking around. Here you go. Look at that. Oh yeah, that is good. Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. That is gonna be perfectly fine. Now, let's get our lather on. Yep, just like that. And, you know, I do bowl lather. You saw me create a lather in a bowl. Now I'm going to face lather. And we'll talk more about that in the future as well. Because getting, getting a good lather is key to a good shave as well. There you go. Yeah, buddy. That's good. It is. Actually, let's go ahead. While I'm thinking about it, we're going to find that mole. Yeah. So if you have any speed bumps, go ahead and find them. It'll be safer and easier. All right. This is pass one. And for me, primarily, that is going to be with the grain. 
all right on my cheek everything I do is going to be with the grain my neck on each side that will be across the grain but let's just do it and I'll show you what I'm doing all right lay that razor flat raise it about a spine width or less okay straight down right there is with the grain now what you're going to see is also with the grain for this other part of my face All right, so see that? Oh, and look at that. How, how clean is that? Man, you could almost get away with just one pass with a straight razor. All right, so now that was with the grain here and here. This is going to be across the grain for me. So let's do this. Okay, so that was across the grain in that area. Now get that blade cleaned off and move up to that mustache area. Now for me, pretty much straight down, if I hold my mouth right, is going to be with the grain. And what we're going to end up doing here is I'm only going to do pretty much half and work on that chin area. And then we'll come back for the other half later. Yep. All right, so that was with the grain on that mustache, with the grain here, and on the front of that chin. So we clean that off. Now that neck, straight down right through here, is going to be with the grain. There we go. So now that was with the gray. So you always want to try on that first pass to go with the gray. I believe that is going to be your best bet. Now right through here, it's pretty much going that way is going to be with the gray. That is going to be cross the grain. Down here is cross the grain. Nice, nice. There we go. All right. Now, we're switching hands. We're going to do this other side. We're going to find those moles first, though. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Just put that extra shaving cream right there. 
and stretch with that off hand, lay that razor flat, raise it spine width or less. That was pretty much with the grain right through there. Now, all of that with grain again, different angle though, right? I got the different angle on that than I did back here. This goes this way, like that, through that area. Now, that jawline and neck pretty much go that way. And now we're gonna do that by stretching. Stretch that up and over, and now we're gonna go across the grain. There you go. And that was across the grain on this whole section, including that jawline. Now, I'm gonna clean off that blade. We're gonna get that mustache area and take care of this. Now this is gonna be with the grain, all right? For the most part, that was totally with the grain. All right. So now, are you you seeing how this works? I hope so. And this is so easy to do. It is just crazy easy, and you can you're gonna get such a much better shave doing this than before you did this. All right. And you'll be in good shape, yep. Now, here we go. We're gonna work that lather a little bit more. Yep, just like that. This is good. Yeah, it is. So, now we got that going there. Yeah, and this, Parasso, fantastic. So easy to lather, works really well. Mm -hmm. Look at that, isn't that great? Now I'm just gonna kick it up a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, buddy. That's going to do it. It will. That'll be fine. Yep. All right. Now, this is pass two. For me, primarily, that is going to be against the grain, except on each side of my neck. That is cross the grain, remember? Okay. And I'm going to go cross the grain on that mustache area and part of the chin as well. Then right through here, 
that is going to be against the grain cheeks totally against the grain all right let's do this There we go. Oh, nice. All right. Now, that was across the grain, remember. So, we passed one. We went across the grain from north to south. Now, we went from south to north. Right through here, this is pretty much going to be against the grain on my neck and for that chin for the most part. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so that was against the grain. This works really well. So that blade is pretty much flat and that's gonna help. Now this whole section gonna be pretty much across the grain. So let's do this. There you go. See how that worked? Really easy if you know how your beard grows. You'll be able to get that width of grain, that cross the grain. That is going to be how you're going to do it against the grain as well. So now let's work on this section. This is going to be totally against the grain. Just watch how I hold the blade. It's going to end up being perpendicular to the growth, all right? Perpendicular. I think it's actually, you know, I'm going with the grain this way. So that is going to be against the grain in this section. And this is going to be against the grain in this section as well. All right. This is going to be across the grain. There we go. Nice. Now, find that one. There it is. Find that one. Got to make sure and find those speed bumps. Yep. Now, this is going to be against the grain for me again. Pretty much against the grain on that cheek. This is also against the grain. There we go. Now, that is feeling good. On the mustache area, we're going to go 
across the grain and down here we'll go with the grain. There we go. Nice. Now this is across screen as well. There you go. Pass two complete. Felt good. Yeah, it did. Now, let's get that rinsed off. See how we're doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, cheeks are good. Yeah, they are. Excellent. Mustache area is good. Yeah. Chin area is good. Yeah. We're doing really nice. Yeah. And it's all because I know how my beard grows. All right. Now, we're just going to kick that up a little bit more. Just like that. And we're getting that out of there. There you go. All right, looking good. Yeah, buddy, I'm telling you. All right, here we go. It's time for the half pass. For me, primarily, that is going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck, except through here. And I'm going to do a with the grain pass here. Everything else is going to be against the grain. All right, so let's do this. All right, that whole section pretty much completely against the grain. Yep. So we'll get that blade cleaned off. Now right through here, this is pretty much going to be with the grain. Remember, in pass two, we went against the grain on that section. Yep. And you can always do multiple with the grain passes and still get a better shave. You can. So you don't have to switch unless you want to. If it's not comfortable, don't switch until it is. Yep. Again, this is against the grain. Against the grain on my jawline, my neck. Mm-hmm. With the grain there. 
across the grain there. This area here is going to be across the grain. Once we get to that middle of that chin here, it's going to be against the grain. There we go. Now, same thing on this side. This is going to be against the grain and then across the grain. And we're going to finish this off. There you go. Another shave in the books. Yeah. And it felt pretty good. It did. Let's check and see how good we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a good shave. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is nice. Very nice. All right. There were no bumps harmed in the filming of this shave video, but we're still going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic. It will take care of little bumps if you hit them, and it'll tighten that skin, close those pores, after a good straight razor shave. Mm-hmm. So I just put that everywhere. I do. It is my practice. And I think it works really well. Now, I will just pat that dry. It was about half dry anyway. Just like that. There we go. Now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with a cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. In my case, I'm going with the Thayer's, and this is the rose petal. Yep. It is nice and... I think it's going to give a nice floral note mm, to this shave. I do. And I put that everywhere. Yep. So it's good. It is mm, marvelous. Marvelous. Now, next up, here we go. Nivea. And this is their sensitive poche balm. Good stuff. Get the moisture back in that skin. You got to take care of your skin. All right. It's important. And post shave products are the best way to do that. And I put it pretty much everywhere, especially this time of year. You know, we got the heater going and everything. It just dries out the skin. Something terrible. All right. We're going to follow that with the Parasso Red. This is their sandalwood. So this is a sandalwood Sunday shave of the day. Yes, it is. We're going to get some of that going. Lovely. Lovely. Hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh, that is good. Yeah, it is. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see that video, Angle and Pressure. Have a great shave and a good day. Life is good.